Chris here with Pixel Freak, and today I'm taking a look at the new game by Gameville, Moleheart. So this one's been out for a couple days now. I haven't had a chance to take a look at it until today because there's been some other big games that had recently come out. Uh, I did get a chance to sit down with it today. It's a pretty decent title. There's some weird things with it, but let's go ahead and just jump into it and we'll take a look. So the game opens up with this kind of comic strip story sequence and it's kind of like a cutesy anime type of uh, whimsical type thing. For me it was a little bit too over the top, however some people I know really match the demographic of who they're trying to push this towards and you may love it. For me it was kind of eh, but whatever. I'm all about gameplay, going into the gameplay. So the basics of combat, you push on the right hand side of the screen and you'll move right, the left hand side of the screen and you'll move left and you just basically walk back and forth on that two dimensional plane. You walk up to the enemies and your little ally guy that you're controlling automatically attacks. The idea is you want to stay far enough away from them so they don't attack you. You can also summon allies by using your crystals. You can see uh, towards the upper left hand corner I have 25, 30, 31, and I can start spending those to summon my little soldier guys, and they'll slowly approach me from my crystal on the left hand side. The idea is to take out their little statue there on the right before they take out your crystal. You can also use your magic skills, which are in the upper right hand corner. You can see I have a lightning bolt there, it's going to cost me 10 MP. The MP is the blue bar in the upper left hand corner, and that slowly accumulates, kind of like my health, but slowly reaccumulates as I get beat down. So if this game seems at all like Samurais vs. Zombies, that's because it is exactly like Samurais vs. Zombies. Uh, I quite enjoyed that game, I've done quite a few videos on it, and I quite enjoyed this game. The difference is, is that this one is not quite as good. There's a few extra little gameplay elements in this game that I did enjoy a little bit, but I'd say the graphics in Samurais vs. Zombies and just that, the overall experience was just a better experience. This game is good, that game is better. So that's how the first fight goes, and after every fight, they give you this little mini game where you pick a card and 50% chance you'll get extra coins. Well, you get extra coins no matter what, but 50% chance that you'll get extra, extra coins. So here's the mini map. You actually select your level as you go. There's no going backwards. You just continually select the next level. Here you select which little guys you want to upgrade, and I can buy the archers at this point, and I can upgrade my swordsmen. As you go through the game, new guys unlock, and you also, in addition to getting troops, you have heroes. So far, I can only upgrade my hero. I can't actually get any new heroes. I also have skills, which I'm able to buy new skills. The two right-hand skills cost money to use, so I don't actually use them. One of them is an invincibility, the other one's like unlimited mana the horribleness of freemium games. Unfortunately, everything costs money. This one though, I could find, I found that as you played the game, you got quite a bit of the in-game currency, the, the, the gold coins, and so it was pretty easy to upgrade my guys. So, fast forward a little bit into the game, and now I have a ton of archers that are high level, and I found that a lot of the same mechanics, the same with a lot of the, the gameplay tricks that I use in Samurai vs. Zombies, they apply here as well, and they, they work well here. Um, so, really, it breaks down to what, how you play as a gamer. If you like a lot more versatility in skills and, and, and characters, this game's probably a better game. If you want a more well-rounded experience and favor graphics a little bit, then Samurai vs. Zombies is going to be a better game. Personally, I recommend go play Samurai vs. Zombies first before you play this. I think that's a superior game. This one's still good, but the graphics... I would call the graphics in this one comparatively to Samurai vs. Zombies... butt cake. Is that a thing? Let's make that a thing. The graphics in this game are butt kick. However, the gameplay is still pretty good. I actually enjoyed it. I found myself playing a lot longer than I actually needed to to complete this review, which probably means I'll continue playing this one for a little while. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and until next time, this is Chris with Pixel Freak.